Extraordinary. What is your wish? A wish, you say? Let me think. I wish that Alice Munro never stops loving me. How does it work? It's magic, isn't it? Yes, some kind of sensor. Go on, ask it something. Okay. Um... Rose, are you stuck in there? No. Are you stuck out there? It asks questions. It's like it's alive. How about this then, Rose? What's the square root of 1,296? She's confused. I'll do a reboot. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's wonderful. I'm sure August will love it. Museums aren't what they used to be, Pam. No. They're much rarer than ever before. Too kind. Let me get those prizes for you. Of course. Happy to help. Let's call it payment for that wish. <laughs> yes. Monroe will be pleased with my wish. Thirty-six. Good luck, little fella. Treasure buried. 
Remind me why this is my job again? You have smaller fingers than me, Monroe, and you can get into smaller spaces. So it's nothing to do with you having the warm, cozy studio then? Absolutely not. Uh, how many capsules to go? One, I think, but I've just dropped it. You could just tag its location there. Um, oh, it's okay. I found it. Good work, Monroe. Going live in three, two... Welcome back, listeners. Good news, Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. That's right, Poe. I'm almost done. And then our listeners can start trying to find them. Yes, thanks to the generosity of August Museum, you could find a buried treasure. Uh, tell them what's in the capsules, Monroe. Only the best treasure of all, Poe. A free family ticket to August Museum. And that's not all. One lucky capsule has a secret treasure in it, hidden by the curator himself. I wonder what that is, Poe. Perhaps it's edible, like fine caviar. Great. I've been hiding fish eggs. Did one of them feel different to the others, Monroe? No, not really. Well, handle them carefully, in case they open a portal to another world. Could do with one. Okay then, sounds like Monroe is getting a little frosty. Time for these words from our sponsors. Remember, Monroe, if you speak with a smile, people know you're smiling. I hate you. Does that sound happy? Actually, yes, it does. You can tell what shape your mouth is in. Dehydrated. I think I'm gonna keep this last one, Poe. Uh, but we're supposed to be hiding all ten. I know, but we could give it away live on air. I suppose. Okay. Uh, bring it back with you then. On my way. Welcome back, listeners. It's time to find the treasure. Get the geocaching app. Search for hashtag Poe and Monroe, no spaces, and join the hunt. If you see Monroe, tell her dinner's in the dog. Because you cooked it. I'm an exceptional cook. Monroe, on the other hand, burns everything. Like our friendship. Sorry, Monroe. You know I love you, really. Let's have a little break whilst Monroe gets back to the studio. Good luck, August. Yes, good luck. Don't worry, Rose, you'll not be hungry for much longer. Sorry about the mood. It just felt lonely. You're not alone, Alice. You've got me. I don't know, do I? Of course you do. You know how much I care for you. And your wife? It's complicated, you know that. The thing is, I'm not sure it is. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just tired, I guess. What we have is special, the most special thing. And your marriage? It's Schrodinger's marriage. I'm simultaneously married and not married at the same time. No, Poe, you're married. There's a piece of paper that states exactly where you are at this current point in time. Alice, we're going live. Let me. Three, two... Welcome back to Radio August's Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Earlier today, I placed nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find, and one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Find that capsule and you'll win. 
a hot dinner date with me, Alice Monroe. Monroe, that's. What if it's a girl? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I would love that, actually. Did you mean hot dinner, as in the food is hot, or a hot date? Wow. I suppose that depends on who wins, doesn't it, Poe? Astounding. Monroe is offering a dinner date with the first person who finds the curator's capsule. Good luck, I suppose. Oh, and spoiler alert, I wasn't that great at hiding them. Finding them should be easy. Much like getting a date with you, then. You could always try and find it yourself, Poe. But I already have so much of you already, Monroe. Well, look, we have our first caller. Hello, it's Eric. Eric Planner. Hello, Eric. What's happening? Oh my God! <laughs> Hi, Monroe. Hi, Eric. Hi. I am such a big fan. Oh, I'm doing a heart shape with my fingers, but you can't see it. I found a capsule. Which one? Outside the doctor's surgery. Underneath the bench. That's one of ours. Crack it open, Eric, and let us know what's inside. Okay. Well, while Eric's trying to work out what he's won, tell us more about the doctor surgery, Munro. Okay. It's a general practice. I don't actually go there, but I'm sure it's very nice. <laughs> Where do you go? I haven't needed to see a doctor since I got to August. I'm more of a holistic girl, anyway. Okay, let's put a pin in that then. Um, I wonder how Eric's doing. Eric? Eric, what did you find? Eric? I can't hear anything, Poe. Maybe his phone ran out of battery. Weird. Shall we take the next one? You're live on Radio August. I love you, Monroe. Oh, that's so sweet. Do I win a date? <laughs> sure, if you find the curator's prize. I'm at the railway crossing. I'm over to the capsule now. What was that? Sounds like he dropped the phone. I didn't even get their name. They'll be back on in a minute. Great. Why don't you tell us about the railway station while we wait? Of course. August Railway Station was built in 1936 by the Thomas More Clay and Brick Company. The very first train route was between Birmingham and August and all the villages in between. It closed down about five years ago because, quite frankly, not many people wanted to come to August. Did I ever say that you're a know-it-all? Not live on air, but I'll take a compliment anywhere it's served. Oh, I don't think Caller 2 is coming back. Hmm. Two in a row. If we lose three callers, that's a record. Well, there is one on the line. Third time lucky? Caller, you're live on Radio August. Hi, it's Jazz. I'm at the crossroads. Hey, Jazz, great to meet you. Have you found a capsule? Yep, it was by the post box. That's one of ours. Now, remember, once you've opened it, try not to lose battery or get cut off or disappear. Got it. Opening it now. Seriously? This is too strange, Monroe. Life is strange, Poe. You no, know, something's not right. What are you going to do about it? Maybe we should open the capsule we've got. Don't jinx it. We've got a fourth caller. Let's try them. Fine. Caller 4. You're live on Radio August. Hi, Paul. It's Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Uh, what's that short for? Izzy. Yes? 
It's, it's short for Izzy. That's my name. Silly me. Where are you, Izzy? I'm at the old well in Briarley. Is it in the bucket? <laughs> it's not in the bucket, Izzy. It is nearby, though. All right, now have a look. Please call in once you've found the capsules, not when you're in the general vicinity. Found it! Excellent. Now, take a look inside and tell us what you find. Izzy? Sorry. Oh, we thought we'd lost you. No, the lid was stuck. I'm opening it now. Izzy? Izzy? We should open our capsule, Munro. Maybe someone's pranking us. To what end? I don't know. Caller number five, you're live on Radio August. Hi, Munro. It's Eddie here. Hello, Eddie here. What do you got for me? I've got a capsule. Which one? It's from the telephone box on High Road? That's one of ours. Although it's not a telephone box anymore. No, it's a, a defib thing. Yeah, that's used to resuscitate people who have had heart attacks. Good. I think I'll be having one if we go on a date. Well, no one's found the right one yet, Eddie. That we know of. Okay, wish me luck. Good luck, Eddie. Yes, good luck. Eddie? He sounded sweet. Sounded? Well, they're obviously all part of the same prank. What if something serious is happening to them, Monroe? Maybe you could go and watch the next caller. Or we could just open the capsule that's right in front of us. Don't you want to see where this is all going? To hell in a handbasket, I should imagine. Grumpy guts. This is on you, Munro. I just can't stop. We've got callers. Caller 6, you're live. Not for very long. Hey guys, I'm Queenie. Hi Queenie, where are you at? Uh, I'm at the Mary August statue. It's a stunning piece. Oh, I think you're both stunning pieces. Queenie, that's sweet. Have you found a capsule yet? Yes, but I've been listening and I'm getting a bit worried about opening it. The plot thickens. Queenie, are you playing with us? I'd like to be. Well then, open it up. Okay. Another one bites the dust. She seemed quite eager to open it. Perhaps it is an elaborate prank after all. Only one way to find out. Open our capsule? Keep taking callers. <sighs> Caller number seven. Monroe is zero for six. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Of course you don't. What's your name, caller? It's Helena. And have you found a capsule? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm at Orchard Way, the Lover's Walk. The Lover's Walk? Monroe! Hey, Helena. What's the Lover's Walk? Oh, it's not really called that. It's just a nickname. Go on. It's just a lovely place to walk. It's a very discreet woods, Monroe, with lots of conveniently placed benches and tree stumps. Tree stumps? To sit on? Oh, that's so rude! What's he doing? He's being an idiot. Yes, I have a first degree in idiocy. Have you opened your capsule yet, Helena? Not yet. I'm doing it now. Just putting my phone down. Be careful. Godspeed. Helena? Can you hear me? So long. And good night. Well, there's only two capsules left to find. I still think we should open ours. We can do that afterwards. What if there's some big punchline for Nine? I don't think so, Munro, but you have the controls. Caller 8? Hello, Munro. I'm Arvin. Hello, Arvin. How are you today? Better for hearing you. And Poe, of course. Hello, Arvin. Uh, not, not so much Poe. Alrighty. I'd literally kill to go on a date with you. How many people? That's... sweet? 
I think you're gorgeous. Okay, then. Shall I open the capsule now? Yes. Please do. Okay, Monroe. Wish me luck. Good luck, Arvin. Yes, Arvin. Let's hope the same fate that's literally struck seven people in a row before you somehow skips you this time. There's no need to be like that, Poe. Arvin? Arvin? I'm guessing he's opened the capsule, Monroe. Arvin? Arvin? Anybody there? He's not a ghost. How do you know? We've only got one caller left. How did they find them so fast? We didn't even get to find out how Arvin found his. Maybe he just wants to be on the radio. If this turns into a meme, we'll be taking calls like this for the rest of our lives. Shush, po. Let's think. Caller number nine. You're currently live on Radio August. Hey, it's Q. Hi, Q. Congrats, you found the last capsule. Did I? Yes, you did. We've already had a caller, so you must be the last. Wow, so... Is the curator prize still available? Well, actually... We lost a lot of those other callers. Phone line issues. Okay, so it's still all to play for. Absolutely. Although I'd recommend not opening the capsule and bringing it to the station first. I'm actually at the graveyard, so that's quite a ways away. We can wait. Just let Q open the capsule, Poe. Don't you want to see what happens? Just let them do their thing. Fine. Fire away, Q. Break the capsule. And try to avoid death. Death? He's kidding. It's just that whenever someone's opened up a capsule so far, they've stopped talking to us. Why would they do that? We're kind of hoping you could tell us. I can video call if you want. Yes, please. Okay, wait. Ah, uh, I'm on 3G, so it's not going to work out here. A likely story. Thanks for trying, Q. It's totally up to you whether you open your capsule or not. Q? Q? We've just lost nine people in a row mid-conversation. That's a Radio August record. Congratulations to everyone who found a capsule. We think... And we'll be back on the hour with the next August update. Until then, stay safe, August. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh dear. I don't like the sound of that. I just remembered I made a wish today. What did you wish for? It was trivial. I honestly can't remember. Did it have anything to do with these capsules? The curator did say something about the capsules being payment for the wish. And you're telling me this now? It just seemed like a little bit of fun at the time. The painting was talking. You made a wish with a talking painting. Now you're saying it, that does sound a little suspicious, doesn't it? You think? Maybe I should go and see the curator again. I want to see what's in the capsule. Monroe, it could be dangerous. That's my little name, honey. Where are we, Poe? I don't know. But wherever we are, it looks pretty old. I wonder why we're here. What did you wish for? Um... Ah, uh, yes. Go on. I wished that you'd never stop loving me. Hello, Miss Monroe. Mr. Pope. This is your wish. Are you Rose? Where are we? We're here. <laughs> That's funny, Rose. Where is here? In Nikunapate. Can you let us out, please? No. You must love him. 
forever. Let us out or you're getting a smack, young lady. <laughs> Poe? Don't risk it. We need to work out what's going on. Adios, amigos. How do we get out? I don't think we're meant to, Alice. This is my wish. Well, it's not my wish. How do I get out? Maybe there's something we can use in this room. What are you looking for? I don't know. If we're spending eternity here, I hope the menu's a la carte. Do we need to eat? I'm not hungry. Hmm. I'm not hungry either. That's unusual for you. What are you trying to say, Poe? Nothing. Just, uh, you, um, tend to graze a lot. Graze? Like a cow? I love the way you eat. Sorry. I'm getting crabby. Pun intended. No. The furniture and decoration in this place are eclectic. What does eclectic mean again? Diverse. A mix. It's basically an interior designer's nightmare. That's what I studied at college. Interior design? Yeah. I thought I'd decorate the apartments of the rich and famous when I got older. And did you? No. I was usually doing the walk of shame from them. Nice image. Girls gotta make mistakes. What are you gonna do with that? Pick the lock? There is no lock, because there is no door. Do you remember Huntington Beach? Yeah. You refused to go into the sea or take off your shoes. And as a consequence, I got shoes full of sand. You should take my advice more often. Hindsight's 2020, Monroe. Didn't see this coming. I'm so sorry. So sorry. What happened? I thought... If I hit you over the head, Rose would see that I didn't love you anymore, and it would break the wish. I think I see where you're coming from. But when you crumpled to the floor, I felt so bad. Yes, perhaps didn't think that one quite far enough through. I'm so sorry, John. Are you okay? I'm fine, Alice. Just let me get to my feet. Uh, uh, uh. 
Are you sure? I'm sure. You, you can stay here. But I don't want you to fall, Poe. I'll be right behind you. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. You, you can stay here, okay? Okay. I think you may actually be onto something there, Munro. I am? The wish. We need to break it. How do we do that? You have got to stop loving me. Who said I loved you anyway? I'm being serious, Alice. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. So, you're just going to hurl insults at me? Not necessarily. I can undermine our relationship pragmatically. It's already working. Hold that thought. Love is an ephemeral thing, Munro. Only if you're heartless. I want you to stop loving me. I'm getting there. Now. What are you going to do? Start hitting me? You lay a finger on me and you'll be begging to leave this place. That's the idea. I mean it, John. Your voice winds me up, Munro. You said it turns you on. Damn it, Munro. You're making this hard for me. Prove my point. Have I ever told you how stunning you look, my girl? Where are you going with this poem? Just what happens when we get older? Retirement? I'm not sure I can love you as much when your looks go. I know you're being mean deliberately, Poe. Are you a gold digger, Munro? No. What money do you have anyway? So you're interested in how wealthy I am? No. Please stop this. No, this is it, Munro. Get angry, hate me! I do hate you, you bastard! Silence! No more talking till I say. I'll kill both of you. Over and over again. Something I've been keeping in I'm not the man you dreamed I am There's bodies in the basement The basement I take my life before I leave my wife there's no escaping What just happened? I don't know. Were you... In a painting? Yes, we had the same dream. 
Maybe there were chemicals in the capsules. Yes, that caused a joint hallucination that lasted much longer than the time we've been away. Do you think all the capsules are the same? Probably. You go and get the remaining capsules. I'll visit the curator. You are so mean to me. Sorry, Monroe. Let's just go quickly, whilst we still can. Sorry, August. Sorry. Rose? Miss me? How are you here? This whole place. It's my prison. Where are the others? I ate them. No. No, you didn't. You looking for this? Don't open it. Be careful what you wish for, Manwo. Nine residents of August have been reported missing. And they were all listeners looking for our geocached capsules. There may be more capsules still out there. If you find one, please don't open it and turn it into the police immediately. In related news, a man posing as the curator of August Museum is also wanted for questioning by the police. He's potentially dangerous, so do not approach him. Curator Jones is described as tall, dark, and mysterious. Sounds like you, Poe. Don't give people the idea it was me. Sorry. No. I can vouch for Poe's whereabouts last night. And most nights, actually. Should we tell them what happened, Monroe? I'm not sure they're ready. August. We think the curator spiked those museum capsules. Just to be clear... Imposter curated Jones, not actual curated tombs. As absurd as it sounds, the capsules he gave us seemed to contain some kind of hallucinogenic drug. In a Wizard of Oz kind of way. Yes. We think those capsules had the power to make people believe they were being teleported. The drug activated when the capsule was opened. Our capsule took us to a strange place indeed. It was just a room, Poe. No, Monroe. I think we were in a painting. Okay. We were trapped. Because you'd made a wish. I'm not sure I want to tell them about that bit, Monroe. Why are we telling them any of it? To stop them. Opening capsules if they ever find one. I think they've got that now. I'm sorry, Monroe, about, about all the things I said. Did you mean any of them? He said... He doesn't love me anymore. Ah yes, let's take a quick break now then, shall we? Ellis, ratings. You can't say things like that on air. Is that all you care about? Ratings? Uh, no. I, I thought that's what you cared about. Being a star, turning Radio August into your platform. That's not me, Poe. I care about you. Whatever you want. You care about me? Care. 
I'm scared, Monroe. Of what? If I take it back, if, if that stupid wish somehow comes true again. That's just convenient, isn't it? We should have stayed in that room. Just the two of us. What about the missing people? They're missing. The police will find them. No, they won't, Poe. And I feel responsible. We're both responsible. You don't know what happened. Just some delusions. Well, I'm going to help look. Are you coming with me, or do you just care about Radio August? You. I always choose you. Where to, Munro? Adventure, Poe. Always adventure. Si tu aimes mes vidéos, abonne-toi et clique sur la cloche pour ne pas rater les prochains épisodes. Et si tu en as envie, tu peux aussi laisser un commentaire ou un pouce bleu.